Hi there, this is Dr. Anna Lowe from the Happy Health Institute. I have found that detoxification, the liver health, has become one of my top topics that I talk to my patients and my audience. And inevitably, infrared sauna comes up because it's just such an efficient tool that really gives the effect of detoxification and also for healing and putting you into a relaxation state, which is all super important for, for the modern day life. And so I want you to be able to have um, great tools and guide in understanding how to buy, uh, how to pick, and how to choose um, the best infrared sauna so that you are not making the mistake of actually using something that ends up hurting you more or causing more issues for you. So who I brought on is Ms. Uh, uh, Bonnie Kazaza and also Rodney Vestal, and they're from the company Whole Body Wellness Concept. She, um, I met Bonnie in a trade show while I was in a, a conference in Phoenix, and she did a demo on her product. However, because of her expertise, she's gone around the world and really looked for the specific sauna that really serves her consumers. Um, I thought that her opinions are super valuable, and uh, she has a great way of conveying the importance of these little tidbits. So I hope you enjoy it. My big uh, topic today is really helping my patients and my audience find how, uh, how to really understand saunas, infrared saunas, uh, the benefits on saunas. You know, when they start picking, there's so many choices, so many companies, so many different materials. And, you know, there's concerns about EMF. So I'd love for today that we can actually help answer some of these questions. For me, an infrared sauna had to have a number of qualifications. The wood had to be good wood that was treated correctly. The EMFs had to be very, very low. Those were two of the biggest things. And the unit that we picked had is from a company that uses red Canadian cedar. They use their own forest, so we know that there's not a lot of bad stuff in it even when it's grown. And then it's dried immediately in Canada with heat. Now, 90% of all wood is treated with formaldehyde. So we made sure that this is only treated with heat. That's very, very important because then you don't have the off gas. And then the EMFs, so, so important. Safe EMFs is between three and seven. We had some saunas that we tested that were over 300 EMFs, just off the charts, really, really bad. And that is not where we wanted to be. So we looked and found the company that we are now with, and their units are very low. And let me explain a little bit about that. What we found is on the carbon fiber, far infrared, you can have a two layer and you can have a nine layer and the heat is going to be the same. So the cheaper models, they're going to use the two layer because they can get by with it and save money. But the EMFs are based on the number of layers. So what this company did is went into the lab, they kept layering until they got to zero EMFs. We actually, on four of our heaters, have zero EMFs. We have one that is a near-infrared, and that is also zero near-infrared bulb, and that's for your gut level. And then we have one that used to be ceramic, but ceramic has two problems. The EMFs are too high, and it cracks over time. So we've gone to titanium, which has been just spectacular. EMFs are next to zero, and it will never crack. Titanium will last forever. Now, if you held a milligauze reader inside our sauna and went right up against that front heater, that one heater that is the titanium, you were smack up against it, it would register 0.7. And remember, safe is three to seven. So this one would register 0.7 right up against it. If you pulled away six inches, it would register zero, which is where most people's legs and knees are. We have it near the knees. So ours is pretty much zero. And that was so important to us 
because if you have all these great ideas of infrared and infrared is fantastic but if you've got toxins because you have off gassing if you have um heaters that are too high emfs it just it negates it so the other factor that we looked at was the um, glue did they use glue most inexpensive saunas will take the carbon fiber heater slather the back of it with glue which is toxic and stick it to the wood so every time you turn that heater on you have off gassing from that glue and we went oh, no <laughs> no way we're not going to do that and so this company we found takes their carbon fiber bolts it to a frame and slides it into a sleeve those are all huge factors for us and they had to be taken care of before we went and purchased these and recommended them to our people in our wellness center. And there's a reason we picked cedar. Cedar is antibacterial, antimicrobial. So um, in, especially in places where mold is an issue or a potential issue, um, cedar won't grow mold. Um, and so even if people sweat in it or even people, it won't, it won't absorb their toxicity. There might be sweat stains on the seat, but they won't absorb their toxicity, and it and it uh, and it will not grow bacteria in the in the sauna itself, and that's that's extremely important. Um, the next thing that's that's important to talk about is material that is not cedar, and there's a number of products out there, and and the the most important thing to remember is that if it is a man-made product, and we've, we've all seen the tents, the tent saunas that zip up to your neck, those are made of some kind of um, material that is either plastic or it is, it is, anyway, generally those are made from petroleum, and the petroleum is gonna use several different chemicals. So what we've found in, in most of those tent saunas, in, in the reviews that we found of those online, that they are literally off-gassing seven different poisonous chemicals. And, and the other thing that's important um, in choosing a sauna, besides the wood and the EMFs, which are the, the very first two that you have to check. The next one is what's the material made of? It's, if it's a natural material like cedar, um, hemlock, they make a lot from hemlock and a lot from other woods that don't have the same qualities as cedar. So, so by far, cedar is the highest quality wood for a sauna. Um, and there are times when, you know, price might preclude you from getting cedar. So, so once you know that, but I will say this, generally, if they're going to, if they're going to use something other than cedar, they're also going to use inferior heaters that are probably going to have high EMFs and they're probably going to use glue in their product. So that, so when it's not cedar, that's your first clue to check all the other stuff. Well, one of the reasons why I think we're talking so much about the quality and the off gassing and the materials, it's because our skin is actually the biggest organ. And when it's heated, the, you know, the, um, it's when it's it's heated there's just more um absorption ability and that's when we're the most vulnerable in actually reabsorbing any toxins that we're you know we're surrounded by that's why i always talk laugh and talk to my patients about after you uh have a nice sauna the last thing you want is just jump into a shower and then just pour these chemical uh, soap on yourself and just then you, you just basically reabsorb everything back and this is the same concept it's when you're actually you know immersed or, or a hot tub when you go in a hot tub and you have chlorine and all these treatment you're you know you're expanding all your um your follicles but then you're actually allowing for better absorption of these things that you actually don't want in your system um so it, it's 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 environmental um health is actually a really big part of our general health now um, those, great. So I'm hearing wood, I'm hearing EMF, I'm hearing um, glue. Um, so, and then material like titanium for actually longevity uh, versus ceramic. So what about um, the different kind of infrared, you know, having near, far, 
or all spectrum, you know, what does that mean when, when there are these choices being offered? A, a lot of the all spectrum, 